It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. So for this video, I'm gonna respond and react to this video called Are You a Racist? Where basically like a group of people try to admit whether or not they're racist. So without further hesitation, let us uh, begin the video. Are you racist? Mm, no. Mm -mm. No. Definitely. Well, hold on. <laughs> Are you racist? Whoa! <gasps> oh, am I what? A racist? Am I racist? Yeah. I should hope not. What kind of question is that? I wasn't expecting to get asked that. I'm like, no? No. 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 Hell no. That is a multi-layered question. I honestly do not think that being asked if you're a racist or not is multi-layer. Because to me at least, you can actually like demonstrate whether you're a racist or not depending on your, you know, the way you carry yourself, how you interact with people. And so naturally, of course, if you happen to have racist tendency, obviously you could probably demonstrate to other people that you are in fact a racist. But sometimes, of course, like, you know, people might misinterpret you, even though your actions, you know, shows differently. So yes, of course, your actions shows why your person's racist or not. So I don't think it's not really that multi-layer. Well, let's get into it. <laughs> I say the N-word when I'm by myself and listening to rap songs. Of course, for this case, I don't think that using the N-word during a song is actually considered to be racist because you're literally quoting a lyric that was done by rappers. And so in that kind of context, like the N-word means like bro, man, whatever. And so I don't think that quoting a rap song is racist per se. So I have no idea why people say it is, but to me at least, if you're doing that, that's not racist, no. I've seen a black man like walking towards me and I cross the street, but I'm always in my head like, please know that this is because you're a man, not because you're black. <laughs> Are you racist? I'm not racist, but I, I'm a server. So, you know, like I know races. Like, how do I word it without sounding racist? It's kind of funny because if you work in a food industry, I guess it's kind of normal for people to stereotype what a person based upon their race would actually do. So I kind of get what she's trying to say, but like personally though, my personal experience working in a restaurant, I have not done that myself, but I can see why some people might want to do that. I have definitely like stereotype people before. I'm just like the stereotype. The stereotypes. Like what? White people smell, they can't cook, they can't dance. Asian people can't drive. African American men, they have something that's bigger than everybody else. That's probably the best stereotype ever. I like the idea that I might have a big dick compared to everybody else. It means that my woman would probably be satisfied. Enough said. I was just talking about with my friend, setting her up with my other friend, and I'm like, but you know, he's Asian, so he probably has a small penis. And I was like, fuck, why did I say that? Why did I think that? They just kind of pop up. I tell myself to shut up. Are you racist? Only when I'm driving. Are you racist? Jokingly. I tell racist jokes. I like to make a lot of jokes. Sometimes they're race jokes. I do make a lot of racist jokes. The thing about racist jokes is that, to me at least, they're just jokes. Like the whole entire point about comedy is to just make fun of misery. And so that means that it touches on like a lot of subject, especially like dark comedy. And so sometimes dark comedy, they touch on stuff like, you know, murder or rape. And of course that also includes racist jokes. And I think that no matter the genre of comedy that you're doing, you should not be censored based upon like, you know, the joke that you're making. I don't think, you know, just because someone said a racist joke that someone's actually a racist. It all depends, of course, on the intent and the act of what they're trying to do. And so for that kind of context and the gestures and stuff, I think it largely depends on the intent. So just because you do a racist joke, it doesn't mean you're racist. When I was younger, I'd like make a lot of jokes about it, but I realized like, what are these like jokes actually saying? And like, what am I communicating about people through the way I choose to make people laugh? Are you racist? 
No. No, not even a little bit. I wouldn't say that I'm racist nor I'm capable of it. Didn't anyone tell you black people cannot be racist? Black people can't be racist. And why is that? Um, racism is an institutionalized thing. That is absolute bullshit. Anyone can be racist, man. Like, just because, of course, most black people are not in power because, like, they're 12% of the population doesn't mean that they're not fully capable of being a racist. Racism is not just institutionalized racism. Racism can also happen on an individual level. It's entirely possible for, of course, like, people in power to be racist, sure. But also, it can also happen without institutions. So yes, even without institutions, black people can in fact be racist. Not to mention there are various examples in majority of black countries where Africans are, of course, mistreating the white people because they're farmers, because they're race. And so I think, in a sense, that it's not fair to say that your race cannot be racist. That's actually, ironically, the most racist statement I heard so far in this video. I don't think black people have set up institutions powerful enough to like oppress other people. Like I said earlier, there's, you know, African countries that oppress the white people there. So, oops. I think I can be prejudiced, but I'm not racist. What is the difference between racism and prejudice? Because racial hatred is driven by prejudice. So, I don't know what you're getting with this. Prejudice. I feel like I'm biased when it comes to white people, honestly, because I don't tend to give them the benefit of the doubt because they come into this world with so much privilege and I need to work on that. Can black people be racist? I'm sure black people can be racist. Thank you. The only freaking sane person so far in this crazy ass video. I think anybody can be racist. Being a light-skinned person growing up in Kenya, there's definitely a colorism issue going on where darker-skinned people are usually looked at differently than lighter-skinned people. That is true. The whole entire idea of, you know, people treating you differently because you have a different skin tone of black or whatever happens all the time. Like sometimes, of course, people have preferential treatment for lighter-skinned blacks or then like the darker-skinned blacks or someone like me. And so it's kind of interesting this is like a phenomenon. So I'm not surprised that this actually happens. If you have like hate towards like a certain group of people, you are racist. I think my dad's a racist. My father was pretty racist. I have some family that are racist. I do have relatives that are definitely racist towards Japanese. I also have relatives that are racist towards black people. Like, do you ever challenge them or are you like, grandma? Come on. Nah, I, I let her have it. <laughs> Are you racist? No. 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 Oh, no. Never. No. How do you know? Just know that you don't hate people. I feel like you know, right? Like, if you have to tell people that you're not racist, that to me is a great sign that you're racist. What? That is stupid. Let's take, for example, someone makes, like, a false accusation. Because it seems as though people use this word so loosely. Well, you see... It's because you disagree with me, that's why you must be some sort of racist. That's why you're some sort of Nazi or alt-right or far-right. I think that in cases like those, it's natural for people to, you know, try to self-defend themselves from these sort of accusations. Because to me, if you accuse someone without evidence, naturally the person would resort back to the state to defend themselves. And so I don't think just because someone tried to defend themselves demonstrates their racism. Are you racist? No. I mean, if I am, please someone tell me, because that's so disappointing. Are you racist? I've been told I am. I was like kind of getting upset because I was tired of hearing about if you're white and Christian, you're racist and you get away with everything. And I was like, how can you say that? Yeah, I'm racist because I'm a white person. This person's obviously trolling. It must be like some sort of trolling for that answer to happen. Like there's no freaking way that that person is not trolling. And I think all white people are racist. Yeah. The self-loading could just melt throughout the whole entire screen from that. Yeah, I could definitely feel that white guilt. We have just been put into this system designed to empower our white privilege. As a white person, I am super racist. I'm kind of curious, where is this sort of evidence of white privilege? Because I know that most people are born in different circumstances 
And actually, of course, the poorer class has like, you know, stuff to deal with, the middle class too, and the richer class. And so naturally, because white people are like the majority of the country, you'll probably see like less cases of debt. So I think when it comes down to, you know, privilege, I think it's like a class issue per se. It's not necessarily a racial issue because I guess minorities, since because they are like, you know, the bottom compared to like the majority of the population, they'll probably face these things. But I think it's a question about class and not necessarily about race. If white people were like the minority of the country, I think they'll probably face those kind of problems too for poverty and et cetera kind of stuff. I know a lot of people like to say, yes, I'm a racist, because that makes them feel like people know that I'm admitting my faults, but like, I think that's a weird, like, cop-out. How is it a cop-out? Like, if you admit that you did something wrong, that's being honest to yourself. Of course, sometimes when I look at my videos in the past, I cringe, because I know I could do, like, a lot better than I do right now. And so, to me, when you acknowledge that you committed error or make some sort of mistake, it's good to actually try to fix that mistake. So it's not a cop out to fix mistakes at all. Have you experienced racism? Oh, heck yeah. Um, like I grew up in the South. I mean, it happens every day, really. I've been slammed on cop cars. I've had, you know, guns pulled out on me from police officers. I'm followed through a grocery store. Okay, when it comes down to the whole entire situation with like grocery stores, I don't think that, you know, security guards or whatever are just targeting one set of people. Like, for, for example, like when I used to work my other job, right, what happened is that they tell us like there are certain type of people that might, you know, come into a store with like, you know, really long jackets or whatever to try to steal stuff and to take an eye to make sure not for that person to steal the items that we have in our store so that we won't lose any sort of money. And so, of course, we will probably target anybody, no matter who they are, because they, we don't want to have our stuff to be stolen. And so you don't really know, for say, like what kind of stuff the security guards are looking after for, because it could be like anybody. It's not just you because you happen to be a certain way. It could be for a number of factors on why they're probably you know, looking after certain people or other type of people. So it's not just one race I think they're looking after. But I would like to see studies or like examples of where like the security guards are just targeting people just because of their race. You got made fun of a lot. Ching Chong, Ling Long, all this and that. Did you like jump the border? Can you speak English? Hey, speak English. Konnichiwa. I want to eat sushi from your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, you know, I'm actually dying from that joke because I think it's actually more like a joke than something, you know, that should be taken really seriously. But that is funny. Oh, you're the manager? I had more experience than my coworker and that person was getting paid more than I did. So I was on a football field and someone had tackled me and they were like, Asians don't play football. I was like, wait a second. You can't say things like that. That hurt a little bit, but I was like, little do you know, I got a little black in me. That's why I got two touchdowns already, hold on. That's the best way, you know, to fight against, you know, prejudice and racism is, you know, try to fight fire with fire, you know, it's like, Oh, you see, you want to put me down because of my race? Well, you see, I have this sort of gene that making myself look good. I think that's the best way to fight it, is to humor like this. Are you racist? Am I racist who isn't, to some extent? I think everyone's racist. I think everyone, everybody? Everybody is racist. No. No, not everybody. I think for a certain extent, that of course, like, People might have like the stereotypes of other people, but by and large, most of society is not racist. I don't think everybody is racist. Now, I think that, of course, people, there are a subset of people that are, in fact, racist. It happens in every society and not just, you know, the United States. But by and large, I think, of course, like it depends on individual action to show whether they're racist or not. The human experience is to have difficulty 
stepping outside of yourself. I know that I will always make mistakes. I think I'm part of the society that enables racism. We live in a white supremacist culture and society. And we need to actively work every day. So it's a continual process to unlearn things. Really, white supremacist culture, even though, of course, you have the Civil Rights Act of 1964, that pretty much treats everybody the same no matter what their race is. It's so sad and also pathetic, like there are still so many people that think we have a white supremacist culture, when in reality, of course, we do everything in our power to denounce white supremacists in the media, in real life, and so on. And so, where is this idea of we live in a white supremacist culture coming from? I'm curious. What do you do to actively change it? Just gauge in each and every scenario that you go through. Taking like a moment and trying to see if you're making this choice based on some unconscious biases. Honestly, deep inside I used to be racist. I was brought up racist. I grew up in a phobic culture. There was a period of time where I was like against interracial dating. I remember being very young, having like negative perceptions of African American people. But I've met better people and I opened myself up and I've healed. And I think that just exposing myself and being like, hey, like these people are actually really cool and I shouldn't be afraid of hanging out with them. Are you racist? To everybody. Everybody can get it. I don't like nobody. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Okay, I love the last answer. <laughs> I actually love the last answer because it's like, you know, true for many people, like, at this point I pretty much hate all of humanity, too. So yeah, this video was not as bad as the other video I saw from them, but it definitely was like, pretty bad at a lot of parts. But what do you guys think about this video? Please tell me in the comment section down below, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.